Thank you, Mr. White. I appreciate it very much. And thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. I, uh, I know you're taking time out of your evening here to be with us, so I'm going to uh, not waste your time here or spend too much time talking about myself or my history or, or boring you here too much. I'm going to try to jump right in and get straight to the, to the meat and potatoes for you here. But uh, yes, my name is John Skelton. I'm with apexinvesting.com. And um, we're a Nadex educator. We're an online community of traders helping traders. We have over 16,000 members. Uh, we have, you know, systems, software, indicators, live trade rooms. We, you know, have traders that trade Nadex binary spread, stocks, futures, Forex, CFDs, a little bit of everything. We've got uh, literally hundreds of hours of free education, step-by-step -step courses, several free tools on our site. I'll uh, show you here in a moment how you can uh, get access to that. But uh, today's topic is going to be pretty cut and dry here. What I want to show you is an easy, simple way to trade a chart. When I say simple, I mean all red means sell, all green means buy, as we all know. But I'm going to kind of make that a little bit easier here for you and show you how we do that also using iZone levels. When I say iZone, what I mean by that is institutional zones. And again, we use that to trade stocks, futures, Forex, CFDs. Nadex spreads, and I'm going to show you how on one chart we can do trend trades, chop trades, scalp trades, and hedging all on one chart. Now I'm going to kind of go through it pretty quickly here with you just so you get the idea of the system and of what we do. I'm not going to bore you for hours and hours of every step-by-step -step entry and exit rule, but I want to give you an idea of the system, then I'll show you where you can go in and watch a step-by-step -step training course of the exact system, absolutely free fully understand every aspect of the system and then show you a way to try it out. So let's knock out some quick disclosures here. As always, trading futures, options, or any financial instrument involves risk. It may not be suitable for every investor. Please consider these factors before making a decision. And any trading decisions you make your sole responsibility. Information here in this webinar is for informational and educational purposes only not an offer or solicitation of an offer to buy or sell any particular financial instrument. Past performance not indicative of future results. So real quick, before I jump in and show you different charts and indicators and exactly what they mean, you know, I know something that um, is very important to me. If, if I want to take my time out to hop on a webinar or watch a video, check out some strategy or system, you know, don't show me some charts from last year, some random afternoon in October that your system happened to work, okay? That, that means nothing to me. I want to know, yeah, what did it do before? What's it been doing? What did it do today? And I know some of these charts are not going to make much sense to you at all right now, but I'm going to go through them with you here in a few minutes, step by step, so you kind of understand what we're looking at, okay? But I'm going to show you just real quick a few chart examples from today just to give you an idea of, hey, you know, what am I going to, what's this webinar all about? Do I want to stay on and see what this is all about? Well, here's what I'm going to show you what to do and what we do. And here's just a couple examples from today, and I'll show you some more. Here's an example today on ES, for example. Just real quick, and I'm going to break this down for you. You see these different shades on the screen here. You see these reddish-brown shades. Those are cell zones. Those are what we call I zones or institutional zones. All right. The green shade zones, those are same thing. Those are buy zones. So basically, if I'm up here at a red zone, I'm not looking for a buy. I'm only looking for cells. And I'm looking for all of my indicators here to line up. And I'll show you what each one of those are here in a moment so this doesn't confuse you. But just for example, today on ES, caught a great little downtrend right here, as you see in the morning. Boom. Caught this nice uptrend right here going from, what, about 2020 all the way up here to 2035. A nice 15 points there on ES. For those of you that are ES traders, so great day there today on ES. Uh, for those of you that are Dow traders, caught a nice little down pop here. Nice up pop here. Another down pop here on uh, YM today. Um, NASDAQ. Any of you that are trading NASDAQ, great today. First thing in the morning here, just after the market open, um, coming off the green zone here, we've got our entries to buy here, and I'll explain those to you in a minute. And we, and I'll show you how we trail these. We basically followed this all the way up, all the way up. 
you know, getting in at what, about 4380, getting out at about 4430, 50 points on the NASDAQ there today. Great day on the NASDAQ. Uh, some of you that are oil traders, here's another one popping off of a green eye zone. We've got our entry, nice little pop up on oil and caught the nice little pop down. If you're a commodities trader, same thing with gold. About noon, that big pop on gold up this morning and another nice pop down. Got a good, uh, what, 1227, 1234, nice good seven or eight points there, 70, 80 pips, ticks on gold. Um, some of you are Forex traders, uh, pound dollar day, caught a nice move down right here. If you're trading London open and so on, you've got, uh, again, coming off this green eye zone, we've got our entry, took it up from about, what, 42.13 up to 42.53, nice 50, 60 pips there on uh, pound dollar. Uh, great moves today on pound yen, coming down here, caught this nice move down, caught another nice move up here from about 161.90 up to 22, so 30 something pips there. I can go on and on here, guys. I'm just trying to show you just a couple of examples from today from some quick charts I pulled. That's what I'm gonna show you today on this webinar is that particular trading system, okay? That way you know what we're gonna cover here. Not showing you, granted in some of the uh, slides I'm gonna show you here, just showing you how the system works. Some of these may be a month or two old on the slides, but I'm wanting to show you, hey, I'm not going to just show you old stuff. I'm showing you this is what I did today, all right? If I'm going to take the time out to see somebody strategy your system, show me what it's doing. Show me live stuff from today. So this is what we call our iZone Sharpshooter Trading System. And this is how we trade Nadex spreads, FX, futures, stocks, and CFDs, all right? There are some people that do trade some binaries on it, but, you know, we recommend Nadex spreads or mini Forex. So what is the iZone Sharpshooter? What, what is all this chart? Hey, you're saying, hey, that sounds great, but I have no idea what I'm looking at. This chart is a mess, right? Let me break it down for you a little bit just to help you explain what we're doing here and why and how we're staying out of some of these chop moves. Why am I only showing you this down move or this up move? What about all these other little entries? Why are we taking them or not taking them? Okay, so let's talk about that a little bit. First of all, let's talk about the bars that we're using on these charts, all right? Some of you say, hey, are those, are those time-based bars? Are those 10-minute bars? What are those, okay? Well, these are some proprietary apex bars called continuum bars. You notice right here, for example, it says 8 slash 10 tick. What does that mean? Well, basically what that means is if you have an up-close bar, all right, the market has to move an up another eight ticks to make a new bar, or it has to move down 10 ticks to make a new down close bar, all right? There's positives and negatives about time-based bars. Some people say, hey, I like my five minute or 10 minute bars. Okay, fine. But for me personally, I don't want another bar on my chart just because the earth rotated a few degrees or just because my clock moved a little bit, then suddenly five minutes, 10 minutes has passed and I just randomly get another bar. Because what that could do is seeing those new bars pop up can give you the misconception that the market is actually moving when it might not be, okay? But it is also nice to be able to put it into perspective of, of a time perspective because one bar, you know, for a market to move eight or 10 ticks might take an hour. So these are what we call eight or 10 tick five minute bars, meaning it must move up eight ticks to make another up close bar or move down 10 ticks to make another down close bar, or the opposite is true on a down close bar. Or if it doesn't make either one of those moves within five minutes, it will plot another bar, like you see here. Or I can change this to 10 minutes or 15 minutes, whatever. So I can get the best of both worlds. So I can combine tick, you know, tick-based bars and time-based bars. So that's the first thing to look at when you're trying to understand this chart and what we're doing. Now, institutional zones. We call them I-Zones, hence I-Zone Sharpshooter, or I-Z-S-S for short. We've all heard about institutional zones. We've all heard about how smart money or big money moves the market. And I know I've talked to a lot of traders that say, hey, I want to follow the big money. I want to follow the smart money. That makes sense to me when these market movers come in and move the market. I want to follow them. 
and I don't want to be late, but I always feel that I get in late. I feel like I wait for the market to move all the way up, start moving up, and I wait a little longer just to make sure it's really moving up. Then I wait a little longer for some indicator to flip, and then I get in and I feel like I bought at the high and then it reverses, or I sell at the lows. How do I follow the big money? Do I just enter once it gets up into one of these big support and resistance zones? What, what do I do? And sometimes, you know, like when somebody shows you an indicator that shows you one of these strong support and resistance levels or a zone, looking back to the left of the chart, going backwards, it makes sense. You're like, okay, well, if I'd have got in right there by that zone, it would have worked out. Or if I'd have got in here, but how do you know live to do that? It doesn't do you, me, or any trader any good to look back at the left side of the chart and say, well, woulda, shoulda, coulda, right? Because we all do that. It's all about looking at the right side of the chart, the live chart, what do we do? So these are I zones. Here's a quick example of I zones. And they're very, very simple. They plot on the charts. They plot historically as well, so you can see it even shows broken zones when one is broken. Very simple. The brown or reddish color is a cell zone, all right, of resistance, and the greens are a buy zone of the, you know, the most recent strong buy zone, all right? These are just high magnet levels, high volume levels, where the, the market has been moved to in the past, all right, and therefore where it might go again, or most likely where it's going to reverse, okay? And we've all seen these before. We've all seen different variations of strong support and resistance indicators or institutional zone indicators, but we don't know how to use them necessarily. When do you get in? Like look at the left side of this chart here. So obviously the market was coming up and it's coming up into this red zone, right? So you're seeing the market coming up, it pops up to that zone. Okay, well, I'm thinking it might reverse and go down, right? But when do I get in? Oh look, a down close bar. So maybe that means the market hit it. Now it's starting to reverse. I got a down close bar. So let me go short. Let me sell and go short. Oh, nope. Market popped up. Market popped up. Market popped up. Market popped up. It eventually went short. But you might have gone short here and then you're getting stopped out. And then you're like, oh man, now it's going back. Oh, wait, here's a down close bar. Let me get in again. Oh, no, it comes back. And you're frustrated saying, hey, looking back, I can see overall the market did overall reverse there. And then it came down into one of these green zones and it did end up reversing there. But I'm always getting in in the wrong place. I get and I understand these are strong levels. I don't really know how to use them. Because, for example, here the market does come down and it hits a small level here. It hits a previous level here, okay? So I'm coming down into this green level. Oh, I get an up close bar and then another up close bar. Well, that's probably a good confirmation to go back long again, right? Nope. Hits you out, keeps going down, breaks that level, breaks this level, hits to this level, then does it turn around. So how in the world do I trade these levels and not get caught in all this chop and know when to get in, okay? So, and again, you, you notice at these levels, the market comes down, when it gets to one of these levels, it kind of hesitates. Comes down, gets to this grid level, kind of hesitates. Comes on down, tweeters are, then it reverses. So how do you deal with that hesitation and know when to get in, okay? So, institutional zone indicator basically plots these institutional zones, utilizing supply and demand zones from the last X number of bars as they're maintained. It, it, it plots them historically and shows broken views and, and, and so on. Okay, if you wanna, I'm not gonna bore you with every detail of every one of these indicators. I'll show you where you can get plenty more information on them and understand them more. Just wanna kinda give you a good idea. Because again, we all say, hey, that's great, but when do I enter? Well, let's talk about some of the indicators that we use on the system to help us know when to enter. A second ago, I showed you these eight, 10 tick, what we call continuum bars, okay? Now, I want you to notice something. See this up bar green, up bar green, up bar green, down bar green. Wait a minute, since when does a down bar ever become a green bar? That doesn't make sense, right? Well, this 
particular indicator is what we call our bar trend chop filter. Helps us filter chop, okay? And what it does is it paints the bars the color of the trend as opposed to the close of the bar, color of the bar close. It's painting it, it takes into account choppy areas. That way you're not influenced just by green or red bars or just by one up close or down close bar. It paints the color of the previous trend until the indicator has determined that that trend is over. Or like you'll see these orange bars, that's still chop. Okay, So it's a trend indicator and a chop filter. So we're not influenced by, hey, the market came up to one of those zones and I got one down close bar, let me take it. No, you're making sure that you're out of that chop before those bars start to turn red to indicate a downward trend or green for an upward trend. So that is one of the indicators that, we'll, that we use and you'll see here as we go through a couple of these charts real quick just to give you a brief overview of the system. Okay, One of the other indicators we use here, very, very simple trend bands, very simple up, you know, up or down, red or green. Okay, And you know, all these indicators look at different things. For example, one indicator may look at the last X number of bars directionally. Another indicator may look at the previous highs or lows. We're not just slapping random indicators on a chart. We're, we're putting on four or five different indicators that look at four or five different things to give us the whole overview. There's a reason for each and every one of these, okay? We also have our trend flip indicator. Very easy. Green is up, red is down. Okay, this is more of a kind of expand a little longer term trend indicator. What do I mean by longer term trend indicator? Well, you see it takes a couple of bars for it to flip. Okay, it's not a quick flip type indicator. All right, we also have our MVP indicator here, which is, it plots similar to a SAR, but it takes other factors into account as well. It does not flip as easy as a, as a um, SAR would do. It also kind of, as you see here, like, as it's coming down and it goes flat, it doesn't, it won't just flip like a SAR wheel. It'll take into account some flat times where a trend might keep going. So I'll explain what we do with that in a moment here. We also have our trend catcher indicators. These are more of a um, immediate trend direction. Okay, remember I told you a second ago about the trend flip, for example, it's a little longer term of a trend, looks at a trend. See how these flip like really quick? on the reversal, like you got one or two red bars and then you get the arrows. Now these are very important, this trend catcher, these trend catcher arrows. See this cyan colored arrow? Basically when that arrow appears on a bar, what that is is a heads up. All right, it's like a hey, heads up, we might be getting a trend reversal here. Heads up, get ready, be aware. Then on the next bar when the solid color red shows up or a solid color green, that's your confirmation of, hey, the immediate trend is flipped, go. So this is more of an immediate trend indicator, okay? And all these indicators that are in the Apex Toolkit, these ones I'm showing you here, our toolkit is designed to work with NinjaTrader, okay? Philip, to answer your question there. All right, so that's our trend catcher indicator. So in a nutshell, all combined, when you combine all these indicators together, you've got short-term immediate trend indicators, you've got a little longer term, You've got indicators that look at high and low, crossing indicators, indicators that look X number of bars back. We've got bars that are taken into account time-based and tick-based, kind of the best of both worlds. So basically we're combining all these different things with eye zones for a good confirmation of what will happen. So when we put them all together here, and don't worry about some of this stuff on the bottom of the chart, we'll get to that. So when we put them all together here, it kind of makes a little more sense to you. What are we looking for in a nutshell here? We're looking at, we've got the orange or brown or red zones and we've got our green zones, okay? So let's take a look here at a long entry. What am I looking for if I wanna go long in a market? Well, if the market is up here at a sell zone, am I looking for a buy entry? Even if every single indicator I have and everyone else's in the world indicator I have shows me to buy up here, I'm not looking to buy up there. 
the only thing I'm ever looking for on a red or on a red sell zone is for a sell signal. When the market comes down here, like you see it coming down here to a green zone, see that green zone? I don't care what any signals or indicators tell me, I'm not looking to go short. I'm only looking for a long signal to buy, and that's it. That's very simple. Green is buy, red is sell. So what am I looking for? Once the market comes down here, because we, we saw earlier when the market gets down to some of these zones, it can bounce and mess with you, right? What am I looking for here? When the market gets down here to a green zone, remember those arrows? Remember the cyan arrow and then the, the trend catcher green arrow? Boom, I got a green arrow right there, okay? Also, my trend flip is green. My trend bands are green. Remember my bar colors? Remember how the, the trend, the chop trend filter can have a red bar, a green bar? It's green. So everything, market hits this zone, everything's lining up green on the same bar that I get my arrow on. As soon as the market breaks three ticks above that, I'm entering long. That's it. Market hits a green zone. On the same bar where I get the green arrow, everything else is green, I'm going long. Green is green. Okay? And that's it. So I'm entering three ticks above that, and my initial stop, as soon as I enter, okay, as soon as I enter this trade right here, because right, this bar here gave me the entry, as soon as the market breaks three ticks above that, I'm going to enter to go long. My initial stop is at the swing low, right? Because the market came down, that was the lowest point, I entered here, if the market comes down to that swing low, I'm going to get out. That's my initial stop. As the market's going up, remember these MVP predictors I told you kind of plot similar to a SAR? I'm trailing my stop with those predictors, right? All the way up. And when the market hits one of those predictors and breaks it by three ticks, I'm getting out. Yep, go long, go strong. That's it. I mean, the market hits a green zone, all the indicators line up green, when I get the green arrow, when it breaks that by three ticks, I go long. My initial stop is at the swing low, and then as the predictors appear, I'm following my stop all the way up. So I got in right here, right? And I'm taking it all the way up until it comes down and hits one of these predictors and breaks it by three ticks. That's it. That's long entries. like. There's a step-by-step -step training course to go through on this system, but that's it. You enter off the I zones, all the indicators are lining up green, You're trailing with the predictors or the trend flip. How long would that take you to learn a long entry? You, you, you just did, okay? Yeah, RL, exactly. Those dots right there are the trailing stop. That's what you're trailing your stop with, okay? Or if you want a little closer of a stop, you can trail with this trend flip. Okay, because it gets a little bit closer in the beginning, and then you know the predictors kind of overtake it. But if you want a little closer stop, you can trail with with this line right here. That's a long entry. That's how we do it on any market that I just showed you um, earlier of post from today. Short entries, same thing but opposite. And this is actually the same chart. Market came up. What did it hit right here? See, the market came up and it hit this zone, but it kept, it broke through it, right? And then we got stopped out. So the market hit this red sell zone, this red high magnet level, high, you know, support resistance level. And then look what happened when we hit this level. See right here, we got another heads up cyan arrow. Hey, get ready, the market may turn. And then look, right here, we got a down confirmation arrow. But, so the market hit the sell zone. We got a heads up and a confirmation down arrow. But look, bar is still green and this trend flip is still green. So we don't take that, do we? We don't take it. And what happens, the market kind of chops around, tweeters around here. Then what happens right here? So remember I told you these arrows are the immediate trend of the market. They're like the quick trend. 
we actually got an up signal right here because the market started turning around, but we don't take an up signal, do we? Because for one, everything else was red and we're at a sell zone. Then what happens here? Heads up, looks like we're heading down. Boom, confirmation error, we're heading down. Coming off an I zone, bar color is red, bands are red, trend flip red. All the different indications we're looking for that take into account short term, long term, chop, highs and lows, X number of bar, everything turned, and then we take that trend down, right? And we take it all the way down and we follow it down with these predictors until it breaks three ticks and we get out. So short entries, same thing. We're entering off for red eye zones, waiting for all indicators lining up red. We're trailing with the predictors or the trend flip and that's a short entry. Okay, Billy, how do I identify buy zones and sell zones? By color, okay? The sell zones are your brownish red and your buys are the green, it's that simple. Just call them, call them red and green. Meaning if the market's coming up here and it's hitting one of these, um, you know, sell zones right here, I'm only looking to go short, I'm not looking to go long at all. Yeah, ZT, I can show them again. I showed about eight examples from today at the beginning of the webinar here. I went over eight examples from today on four different, in, three different indices, a couple different Forex pairs, and a couple different commodity pairs all from today. I can try to reference them again here at the end of the, um, the webinar too, okay? I can pull them back up. But yeah, I showed like eight charts from just today in the beginning. So that's a long entry and a short entry. Like that's really it, okay? Now, one other quick indicator I want to show you here. These are what we call the Trendar Momentum Indicator. All right, it's down here at the bottom. Don't even think too hard about it. It's very simple. You see the zero line here? It's either above the zero line or below the zero line. That's it. Colors don't matter. Strength doesn't matter. It's either above or below, okay? Now, remember we talked about the bar colors? where we can only take an entry if the bar color matches as well, red or green. Well, what the Trendar indicator does, it actually overrides the bar color. It's a little bit quicker of a chop filter. What do I mean by that? Well, in this example here, the market's coming up and it hits this sell zone. We have an arrow going down. We have a red trend flip. We have red bands, but the bar color is orange. Remember, orange shows chop. So technically, we would not have taken that trade because there was one piece that didn't line up red. See, this is green, this is red, this is orange. But since the trend indicator was below the zero line, it can override that bar color and still give us an entry. And we're glad it did, and we're glad we followed that trend all the way down, okay? Or like on a green, for example, here, we're hitting a green zone, We've got our arrows, everything lined up green, except that bar color is yellow, showing it might still be in chop, but the Trendar chop filter is above the zero line, so we can take it. And again, we're glad we did. So that is one extra indicator there. So Trendar gives you a lot more entries, helps you uh, catch some of these bigger moves and more and more trades each day. I mean, I'll just go through a bunch of charts here real quick, just a few shots, and I'll bring up some more from today. Again, the market's down here. Notice these chop. Like, notice, okay, right here, we got an immediate, remember, okay, the market came down here, it's hitting this green zone. Remember we talked about this before. Well, how do I know when to enter? Well, we didn't enter on this arrow right here that showed us the immediate trend. Why? Because this was still red. We stayed out of it. We didn't take another down um, uh, short here because not everything lined up green and red, or red and red, green and green. But here, everything lined up. And when everything lines up together and all the different factors say go on the same bar as the arrow coming off of a green zone, boom, we take it. Okay? We take it and we ride it up. Okay? So, Yes, David, you can say, hey, that's a lot of stuff to look at if I'm watching multiple entries. Well, you know, you do get used to this and you do learn to read this all together, okay? 
and you do get to spot these very easy because again when the market is down here at this zone am I looking to go short am I looking for any type of short entry if I see red if I see red arrows am I looking to go short in any way or am I only looking to go long that's it okay that's it now James says what do you do if the price goes through a sell zone well for example James if you're in a trade like um, like this one here all right if you're in a trade going long and everything lines up you take this and if it it's if it goes through this sell zone you just keep taking it because we're trailing it with this predictor okay now if it comes up here and it goes three ticks below the predictor and knocks us out but then it starts to go through that zone no we do not go back in long because we're not really expecting it to keep going long we're expecting to maybe pop up and then chop back down okay does that make sense James like if you're already in in a long and it breaks through a couple little cell zones you just take it all the way till it hits your stop but if you get out at a short zone and the market seems like it's gonna pop back up no don't keep taking it okay you don't want to keep taking that all right um, Uh, Robin, is there a filter that produces the stock charge to play? You can plot this on any forex pairs, futures, stocks, anything you want. Okay, anything you want at all. All right, um, James. There's a lot of info behind that. I can um, don't have a ton of time to cover that tonight. As far as James is asking, hey, what are these zones based on? Okay, and basically, I mean, just to give you a quick rundown of it. Uh, um, and I can show you, I can direct you to a video that will give you a lot more details. But basically all this indicator is doing, it's plotting those previous supply and demand zones, those high volume magnet levels where the market was pushed to. And it's based on the last X number of bars as long as they're maintained in the future. Meaning because it's not only one is plotting new ones as they happen, okay, and it plots them on the close of the bar. And it keeps all the broken levels for historical views, meaning if one of those zones are hit and they're broken through, it'll still show you those broken ones like you see here. Okay, let me just get back here. But it's, uh, let me get back to where we were. It'll show you if one gets broken, like these right here. See the market comes through that one, goes through that one. Like see how this one up here is solid, hadn't been broken yet. See this one's like a little one the market broke through it but it's going to keep all those levels for you okay um, Robin I'll show you a little bit of um, swing trading here in a moment too there's another in queue example we go long we follow it all the way up right here it hits this zone look what happens here when it comes up getting into some of these sell zones you see the market kind of bounces around and, and right here we get an immediate short entry but we don't take that because these are still green where do we go short again? Here, coming off this sell zone when all the indicators confirm at once, where everything is flipped, our short term, our long term, our chops, it's getting us out of all that. Remember we talked about that in the beginning, hey, the market gets up here to one of these zones, I'm just gonna go short. Oh, but it kept going, oh, it chopped around. When do I go short? When everything lines up, you go short, okay? so. Uh, here's more examples on NQ, taking them, going short. We've got some long ones here. Um, nice long one here on NQ. Another big long one here on NQ. The Dow, some of your Dow traders. Again, the market's down here, coming off a green zone. Everything lays up, boom. We're taking it for a good, what, 100, 100 ticks there. Um, several more on the Dow. I mean, I could just keep going and going through all these. Russell traders, nice Russell trade here, coming off a zone. Everything lines up red. We're going from what 1074 all the way down to 1063. Nice 11 points there on the Russell, 110 pips there. So you ES traders, same thing. I mean, I can go through. There's oil, taking down, take it up. Uh, some of your forex traders. I showed you some pound dollar and pound yen trades from today doesn't matter if you're trading Forex, futures, stocks, anything, okay? 
Um, yeah, Stephen, you can do it on high, higher time frames like these, for example, like right here on this 4x chart, I have it as a 310. It's got to move three ticks up to make a new one or 10 ticks down to make a different one. Um, every trader is different. You know, we have some traders that are very, very short term, you know, like scalper traders that want to get in these and scalp them. They use smaller bars. We have, you know, traders that want a little bit longer time frame of eight ticks. Uh, somebody's asking, can you go longer time frame? Yeah, I mean, we have people that will take this up to 15 ticks uh, one way and 10 the other way. Some people use five minutes. It all depends on what you're going for there. All right, ZT says, what is the success rate on this? Well, it, that's really hard to give you an exact number. Um, I mean, you can see for yourself here. It all depends on what people ask that about systems all the time. All right and okay well what instrument which hundreds of stocks are we talking about which futures are we talking about are you looking at shorter term trading like um, who was it Steven asked are you looking at longer term you know if you're going longer term bigger bars do you have a little bit bigger stops I mean we mainly do the 8 10 uh, 8 10 tick 5 minutes on most of the commodities and the indices um, you know, uh, it, it kind of depends on what you're looking for there. I mean, I can tell you if you go through and you take every single trade, I mean, that's the only way to really say, hey, the system has an X percent. If you take every single trade in a day, well, what day did you trade? I mean, yeah, I can say, hey, this gives you an 85% win rate on X day. Well, tomorrow's a choppy day. What if it only gave you 65%? You know, any of you that have been trading know the last couple of weeks have been pretty slow and choppy. Now, we had some decent moves today. You know what I mean? Yes, Jim, um, these indicators work on NinjaTrader. Okay. Um, let's see here. Rick says, can you screen for stocks, the best, longest trend? Absolutely. Once you have the system, all you've got to do is just hop on a NinjaTrader. I mean, let me just pull up a... Uh, a chart of I don't know anything here I mean YM and um, you know you can go in and you can pull up any stock that you trade and you can look at it and then you can play with the bars a little bit and say hey these 8 10 tick bars might work great on indices but you know my stock doesn't move that much or like so I want to change it to X you know you can play with it and you see it. There's no market replay you have to run. It, it plots it right here for you, exactly what the bars would be and where the indicators plot. They don't change. So you can very easily see that. Like for example, we might use 8, 10 tick on the indices, but I also, but I use on 4X, I use 312. All right, I use a little bit smaller ticks. Some of you are asking about trades today, 329. I mean, here's a pound yen. Uh, this, this morning, nine o'clock, boom, took it right here, coming off. We entered at what, 162.12. We got, got kicked out right there at 161.99, so not a great one there. Here, 161.90, got out at one, you know, so there's 10 there, 30 there. Um, I think got a pound dollar went up too. Actually, pound yen had some nice moves overnight too, I believe. Yep, yeah. caught a nice up move at six this morning, boom, popping there. 5.30, got a nice downtrend there for what, 74, you know, 30, 40 pips there. Nice up move here at London Open. What, from 63 up to 15, so another 40, 50, 60 pips. I mean, that's just all in the last 24 hours there. But again, notice these are 3.12, some of those are 8.10. So yeah, no matter what it is you're trading, you can easily just pop it up and, um, back test it okay so um, let's see here is more based on the previous day zones RL you're talking about the opening like right in the mornings there right after the market open yeah yeah sometimes I don't trade like those first few minutes there but with this particular system as long as it's popping down there and everything goes you know is pointing like I, I'm Again, that's why I, I never trade any other systems now that I'm only using one or two indications or just one particular trend indication. I like knowing that everything is lining up, my short-term and long-terms, you know, if I am going to trade 
um, early in the morning like that. So, um, so guys, I'm just that's some examples there. I, I showed you some charts from the day. I've shown you several different charts here. Um, I'm just kind of briefly running through this system. I want to keep us on uh, track. Um, Tim, let's see if I have an ES chart up. Yeah, right here. What time were you wanting to see Tim today? I think you were looking at about, uh, man, ES was pretty nice. If you're trading early morning, we caught this move down. And then at about 10 o'clock this morning, we're coming off a green eye zone. We've got a buy. Everything's lining up green here. Would have entered it here. Would have taken it all the way up until it broke three ticks here. So we got out at about 20.33. We got in at about 20.24. So about nine points there on that. Is that what you're looking for right there around 10? RL on that one? Or Tim, yeah. So we caught what do we say nine points there. So nine times what four about thirty six pips there. Not bad, about four hundred bucks or so. Okay. So that's what you're looking for there, Tim. That right around ten o'clock, right? Now, I mean, you would. Let's see here. You got the signal there at ten o'clock. This next bar was at ten twenty four. So yeah, you got in because all we're doing is as soon as this bar closes and everything lines up, we're just looking for it to break three ticks, one, two, three, and then we enter and we're riding it all the way up. Now granted, look here, we got out and it kept going, but we followed our stops, we got out there, we're pretty happy with 400 bucks on one contract there, much less if we had, you know, multiple. Cool. Yeah, yelling should speak more often. Good, Tim. I'm glad that's what you were looking to see there. So, yeah, I mean, that caught that there. There was a move today. Like, it would, it would, it would have been hard to catch. Like, I'm not going to even sit here and tell you, oh, this, look at this. But uh, any, were any of y'all watching gold today just after lunchtime right here? See, the market was tweeting here around these, these, um, these two zones, and then boom, right here as it's coming off this green zone. See the trend R is green, arrows green, everything lines up green. Boom! We'd have got into gold at like one, what, twelve twenty-eight, taking it up to about twelve thirty-four. Nice, you know, six point sixty ticks on gold there. Nice, but that thing moved fast. Like that news came out, it just was boom, boom, boom. You know, so it moved fast, but it did. You see, it did catch it. See that? So it did catch that. Um, this morning, you know, we we're talking about trading it open in Q, man. It it was great. So look at look at NQ again here. See we're bouncing around, but see these up and down, so nothing lines up right and right here. Green, everything green, we take it. And look, see it tweeted around and it look even came down to the predictor right here. But remember what's the rule? It's gotta break the predictor by three ticks for us to exit. So we followed it all the way up. So where have we gotten in here this morning? So just call it 40, um, just call it 43.82 for number's sake. We got out at 43.31, I mean, you know what, 48, 48 points, not 48 ticks, 48 points on NQ. Okay? I mean that is like wow. So what? 48 times 4 160 100 like almost 200 points today on Nasdaq. I mean if you're just doing one future contract, I mean there's a thousand bucks for you today right there. So um so I showed you oil, gold, ES today, NQ today showed you some forex today i mean again i'm showing you some older powerpoint here just showing you the system but again i mean these, these are live charts so I mean, you can see what happened today yeah show me the money <laughs> it's like i said I, i'm not trying to give you a crazy sales pitch here but you guys took your time out tonight and like i said if i'm taking my time with someone to look at a strategy or system show me what it did today or show me what it did yesterday i don't care about what it did two years ago on some random afternoon you know, I mean, 
And any of you guys that do London breakouts, overnight trading, pound dollar, look at this. Or oh, no, actually this was this morning. This wasn't even breakout, this was this morning. Uh, or no, this yesterday morning. Nice, I mean, nice moves on pound dollar, pound yen. Got you some good, good pips there. So anyway, guys, I think you get an idea of the system here. Um, yes, Kenneth, I'll show you how to, uh, how you guys can check out the system here in just a second here. Um, all right, let's move forward so I can stay on track with you. I can show you chart after chart after chart. Let me just show you how you can check it out yourself. So showed you the system, showed you the entries. It's very simple. We're looking at red and greens. We're looking for everything to line up. The stops are easy. The entries are easy. Everything is precise. There's a step-by-step -step training course you can go through that will map all this out for you in detail. You can try it on, you know, it's it's our toolkit works on NinjaTrader. You can use it on any Forex, stocks, anything you want. Test it out, try it out, play with the bars, get you some good things going. So, now, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Be the first thing that comes to my mind is, hey, John, nice little presentation, nice little system. That was even cool you brought up charts from today. That's cool when you catch those big trends. But we all know that the market doesn't trend all day, every day. We know there's choppy days. Okay, let's talk about that. How can we use this for chop? When there's two eye zones that are really close together, meaning a red and a green, okay, what we're doing is looking for scalping opportunities. Only if it's straddling an ice or deviation level. What does that mean? Well. What that means is one of our other indicators here is called ice, okay? And again, I'll, I'll, you can watch some videos. I'll direct you to if you want to learn more about what's behind these indicators. But these are spot on for acting like extremely powerful magnet levels. They're a little bit different from the I zone levels. These are more of high volume magnet levels that normally require some good volume for the market to break through these levels. I mean, you can kind of see it here as the market breaks through it, pops back to it. For example, pops back to it. Pops up to this one, pops back. Tweeters there, pops back, pop. The market's drawn to these levels. And a lot of times when it hits these levels, it kind of tweeters around there. We also have deviation levels. All right, and these are, these are proprietary apex deviation levels. These are not your standard deviation levels that you can get anywhere. These are not historical looking backwards. These are looking forward. Okay, this is more of like the expected move of the market. It's based on implied volatilities, based on the IV of options, the pricing of options. Not what has the market done in the past, but where does the market say it's going to go? What is the price of options for today, for tomorrow? You know, and you can kind of see here you've got settlement, you've got half deviation, 0.7, 1. You can see when the market hits some of these deviation levels, it can tweeter around, hits one, tweeters around. Okay, those are some levels there that the markets are drawn to and can pause for a moment. So let's take a look here real quick. How do we utilize that? Real quick chart here. See how market's trending up, hits here to one of these levels, and what does it do? It kind of bounces down, kind of bounces up. And then notice how these I zones are kind of close together. It's not like a huge difference distance to the next one. These are real close together. Okay. See this red line right down the center? See how these zones are straddling that red line? What is that red line? That's an ice level. What do we know happens at? The market can be pulled back to it. The market can tweeter around at those levels. What do we know happens at deviation levels? The market can tweeter around. So if the market's going to so if you're in a situation where the market is straddling one of these ice or deviation zones, what do we expect? We expect the market to kind of tweeter around that level. And when you have buy and sell zones squashed close between that level, where do you think we can possibly imagine that it's going to bounce between as it's bouncing at that support level? Exactly. So how can we chop trade it? Totally different rules from the trending rules. We're not looking for everything to line up. All we're looking for is when the market pops up, if it's straddling one of these zones, if the market pops up here and you get a red trend catcher arrow down, 
doesn't matter if everything lines up or not, you just take it down. You take that trade down, and where do you exit? As soon as it hits that buy zone. Now what happens? Get a green arrow. Well, look, everything else still red, doesn't matter. You take it, you, you buy, and you get out when it hits that zone. You get a red, you take it, you get out when it hits that zone. If I was to sell this, where's my stop? The top of this zone. You're just doing quick little chop trades between those zones. Because again, we expect a bounce and chop in the market along one of these deviation or ice zones. But where do we expect it to chop between? Well, those zones if they're close together. And really all we're doing there is just, you know, bouncing off those zones. Okay? So again, one system, one chart, you can do trending or you can do scalping. So that's the power of the eye zones. You've got a mixture of multiple indicators to look at multiple things, bars that take into account time and movement, trend and chop, all on one chart there for you. We also can add in one more trade to the chart, swing trades, small swing trades. They're very, very easy, all over the place, very simple. Someone was asking about swings earlier. Yes, you can use larger bars to do larger time frame swings. Um, but as far as smaller swing scalps, okay, all we're looking for is a quick retrace. And we're entering off a higher or low. What do I mean by that? Just a basic chart here, okay? Just basic, basic. Market's coming down off of a sell zone. Where's the lowest low? Right there, right? came down that's the lowest low it made then it retraced a little bit then it comes back down and right here it br meets that low and breaks it pops up a little comes down right markets coming down that's the lowest low pops up a little bit right here it breaks that low boom enter 10 ticks here's the new lowest low pops up and the market comes back and breaks that low by one tick you enter it, go for 10 ticks. Just go 10 for 10. Just quick little swing trades there. You don't have to overcomplicate it. We don't even look at a ton of indicators. I mean, but you can put it all in the same chart. Mark, what happens here? We're getting a trend entry for the market to go long. Because everything's green here. What happens? Market pops up. Got a couple of lower bars. As soon as it breaks this high, one tick, boom. Get in for 10 ticks. Market pops up breaks down, it pops up, breaks up 10 ticks. Market's coming down, makes a low, pops up a little bit, as soon as it breaks it, 10 ticks. I mean, you see them all over the place. And you can do these separately, you can do these while you're even in a trend trade. Let's say you were trading and you, had to, you got distracted, so you missed, oh man, I missed this short entry here on this nice trend down. Well, you still can take that, pop right there and 10 ticks. Here's a new low, it pops up, as soon as it breaks that low, boom, 10 ticks. Here's a new low, pops up, as soon as it breaks it, 10 tick. So it's extra scalping opportunities throughout the day while you're in trades, or if you miss out on an entry of a trend, you can still take advantage of it. I mean, here's another one, popping up, comes down, as soon as it, pop, as soon as it breaks that high, 10 ticks. Market comes up, makes a new high, comes down, it breaks that high, go for 10 ticks. I mean, the plates, okay, for, for scalping as well. So just going for 10 ticks over and over again. So on one chart with one system, you've got trend trading, chop trading, swing trading, scalp trading, all in one. You're not having to use a ton of different charts and look at 10 different strategies and 10 different charts to have on, uh, you know, on your screens. It's, it's all there. There's plenty of trades to keep you busy all day long, whether it be trend, chop, or swing. And we talk, something we talk a lot about at Apex is having multiple plays in your playbook. Not just, hey, I have a great trending strategy, but that's the only strategy I have. If it's a choppy day or volatile day, I'm, I'm screwed because I don't know how to trade those. Okay, well, that's great. Keep your trending strategy, but be able to read the markets and know when you should do some chop trading, when you should do some swing trading. And the nice thing about this system is it kind of shows you, even if you're not an expert at reading the market, of hey, market's chopping between these two close zones, straddling one of these levels, we expect it to chop. 
here's how you trade it. You're just kind of following the system there. And one other thing that I wanted to briefly touch on is what we call the ultimate hedge strategy. Okay, And I'm going to show you where you can go and watch a full webinar on the ultimate hedge strategy. It's an absolutely free strategy. You don't even need any you don't even need any apex indicators to to um, do this strategy. Whatever your current strategy or system is that you use for trading futures or forex, okay, I'm going to show you a way where you can hedge those strategies. Okay, and it's a free system you can check out. You don't even need any of our stuff. It's something you can start doing tonight, tomorrow. I'll show you. You know, you can in the video you'll even see where you can get a free demo account. But basically what we do is we work a lot with Nadex. Nadex offers um, binaries and what they call, they call them bull spreads. We call them box spreads. What we do is we utilize these Nadex box spreads um, to hedge our futures and forex position. And you literally can get hedges for literally pennies on the dollar. And basically the way we use them, like with iZone Sharpshooter, for example, is if I was taking this long position on iZone Sharpshooter, coming off the green zone, everything lining up green, I'd be entering right here. But what I'm looking for is to find some Nadex spreads that are close to the, to the ceiling that protect me in case I'm wrong and the market goes down. And I actually, you know, if I get a Nadex spread that's, you know, you know, depending on what I'm trading, if it's, you know, 10, 15 points big, I've got a 10 or 15 point hedge that's literally only costing me, um, you know, maybe 50 or 60 bucks in margin to put up. Okay. And some of you might be like, what? Yeah, I'll show you where you can get some more information about it. Or if we're going short, same thing. I'm taking a short entry on the iZone sharpshooter and I'm finding a group of Nadex spreads that have a floor close to that same level so that if I'm wrong and the market shoots up, I'm actually making dollar for dollar as the market goes up what I'd be losing on my um, short waiting for the market to turn around. Because what do we always what do we always see? We always see that I'm going long or I'm going short and in the end of it I was right, but I needed more time to be right. Yeah, the market went short, but you know, not before it popped up against me, took out my stop, knocked me out, then it kept on going my direction, right? We've all had that, and what do we all think every time? Man, they're out to get me. Somebody knows exactly where my stop is, and the whole market moved just to come get my stop, right? We all think that. We all think the market's out to get just us, because it's like, I placed the order, the market popped up at my stop, then it went my direction. How do I not get stopped out like that? How do I not take huge losses? And instead of, you know, having a five, six hundred dollar loss, putting my stop way up somewhere, how can I hedge it for maybe only a hundred bucks of risk, but have up to, you know, a hundred pips in protection? It's what we call the ultimate hedge strategy. And to fully walk you through the whole strategy would would take me about an hour or so here and I don't want to keep you long but I'm going to show you I recently did a full webinar on it showed examples of trades if you watch that one webinar you'll know exactly how to do it and you you can even get a free demo account with Nadex they'll give you a $25,000 demo account you can trade whatever strategy or system you're already trading for futures and forex and automatically implement it tonight tomorrow using the demo account to test it out for yourself. It's it's truly amazing. I'll show you where you can get some get some more info to it. So okay, a couple of you are asking, okay, what about a special offer here? What are, what are we doing? How do I check this stuff out? Hop on over to our website, okay? It's apexinvesting.com. When you get over to the website, here's what you'll see. And right here it'll say join free now. All right, if you click that, you can select a free username and password. All right, that will get you full access to all of the education, all of the step-by-step -step training courses. Uh, it'll get you full access to the ultimate hedge strategy. I'll show you where that's at. Step-by-step -step training, entries, indicators, everything of the iZone Sharpshooter system. That way you can go through and watch it and fully understand it 100% um, 
absolutely free. Once you get your free username and password, you can log into the site. I'm just going to show you where to get the information you're all asking about here. Okay, that way you can get to it. So once you get onto the site right here, all you have to do, very, very simple here, again, apexinvesting.com, Raleigh just put the link there. Once you get your free username and password, you can go right here to Elite Education, and right here, Futures, Forex, Stocks, CFDs. What are you trading? Trading Futures, Forex, Stocks. Some quick information here, boom, iZone Sharpshooter Training Course, it's right there. This is literally a step-by-step -step course, goes through the indicators like I just showed you, goes through the exact entry and exit rules. There's a cheat sheet you can even print out to have the, the rules readily available for you there. You can print it right out. It's, it, it's a quick, easy cheat sheet showing you which indicators are to be red or green. You enter three ticks below, above. There's a quick example. I mean, the step-by-step -step course, there's even cheat sheets you can print out. You can watch all of these step-by-step -step courses on the entry and exit rules, the chop trading rules, tips and tricks, the swing trading rules, how to set up charts, set absolutely free with a free membership, okay? You can check all that out, check out the system, watch the videos. If you go down right here to the next one that says Nadex Spreads, okay, remember I was telling you about the ultimate hedge strategy? We use Nadex Spreads to hedge off our futures and forex positions. So if you go under Nadex Spreads, Spread Trading Systems, there again is the Eyes on Sharpshooter course, right here on Ultimate Hedge Strategy. Okay, right there. All right, and you can check that out. We also go through and show you how to get, um, you know, some of you say, well, okay, hey, I'd like to check out these indicators. All right, your toolkit indicators only work on NinjaTrader. Yes, and right here, if you click here, this will show you how to get NinjaTrader for free, show you how to install futures and Forex data for free, how to set up instruments, and set up the toolkit. Now, some of you say, well, hey, I, you know, I trade with MT4, I trade with AMP, or I trade with, I don't want to switch my broker to NinjaTrader. You don't have to. You don't have to switch your broker at all. All right, you can still place your trade you trade on, all right? But if you want to be able to utilize this iZone Sharpshooter system and access those charts and indicators, those do plot on NinjaTrader. But you do not, and we show you how to get NinjaTrader and data feeds absolutely free. It won't cost you a dime to get it. Okay, and you can use the iZone Sharpshooter system as your um, charting platform. You can place, you can open an account with Ninja Brokerage if you want, and trade right off of there. Or you can just continue to trade where you're trading now. You don't have to switch brokers. Okay. Um, yes, Keith. Uh huh. Yep. It's a live demo, live feed demo. Mm -hmm. With uh, with Ninja Trader, you can get all that right there. Okay. So that gives you a little bit of information there about going step by step through the iZone Sharpshooter course. It's all free information for you. You can learn about Nadex spreads. Again, go right here, Nadex spreads, uh, strategies, whoops, spreads, strategy systems, ultimate hedge strategy to um, check out the ultimate hedge system. Okay. Also, once you're on our site there, a lot of information on our site, don't get overwhelmed by it, but all right here under the education tab, tons of free information there for you. You can check out a bunch of different step-by-step -step training courses. You can also go right here to Help Desk and Form. This very first tab here says Help Desk. You can submit a new ticket. If you have any questions on anything, questions on one of our systems or strategies, we can answer that for you, direct you to the right place. You can go right here to the Trading Questions Forum. Okay different sections, a lot of great information here for you, everything from psychology, resource management, step-by-step -step, uh, training courses down here under S12, Section 12, you've got all kind of videos, but a great place to uh, interact with other traders. One, a really good place to go is right here under the general trading form. This first one says you can do this and why. We've got over 16,000 members at Apex. And it's a great place to follow along with other traders, see what systems they're doing. And you'll see posts in here all the time. I mean, just even from today, nine hours ago, 10 hours ago, um, let's see here, 11 ticks on YM, 
an elevator trade for 30 ticks. Uh, on YM got 14 ticks. Um, Alchemy 6E got 10 ticks. Grat 36 ticks on gold. See what these traders are doing. See what systems they're using. Talk to them back and forth. Ask questions. Post charts. And you can go in there and you'll see these trades. They they even show their charts where they got in and what they were doing. And hey, what did I do right? What did I do wrong? You know, they're all trading these different systems. It's a great place. You know, a couple swing trades, 40 ticks. Um, got in here for a swing. They show you exactly what they're doing. Their entries and exits, and you can take a peek of that and hop in there uh, even with your free membership, okay? So that is where you want to go there um, to get full access to the free, the free tools and the free ultimate hedge strategy at apexinvesting.com. So now for those of you that want to take advantage and check out the iZone Sharpshooter course, again, I've walked you through tons of different charts different charts today from futures, forex, commodities, you saw thousands of dollars just from today. Yes, you can go through and you can check out any stocks that you want and play with those with different bars. Um, our special offer for you today is to give you a 30-day trial for only seven bucks, okay, to the Apex Elite membership. All right, gives you full access to all the live trade rooms, Full access to all the Apex indicators, the tools, the chart templates, the iZone sharpshooter system, everything. Okay, we also have a, so it's 30 days, try it out for 30 days for only seven bucks. This is for new members, not current paying members, if you're currently paying. Um, 30, 30 day trial for seven bucks, then it's $1.99 a month thereafter. Okay, and that's the monthly membership fee to the Apex Elite membership. Like I said, gives you full access to every indicator, all the tools, all the chart templates. We also have a live trade room as well. Uh, we've got most of the charts actually posted there in the room. In fact, I'm just going to bring it up for you right now. Let me just show you. Uh, there's not a whole lot of people in there at night right now, but we have a live trade room. We have moderators in the rooms that are you know, showing charts, marking up charts, ask, uh, answering questions showing their trades. Um, we actually also do post charts in the room. Okay, What do I mean by that? I mean, yes, we show you how you can set up NinjaTrader. Okay? But, you know, we have a live all throughout the day, the history today of the trade room, people showing their charts, people asking questions, um, people, you know, saying like, hey, you know, yelling speech coming out, look out, hey, check this out showing all their different charts and trades, but in that room, we also post charts. Here, for example, is some of the Forex pairs. There's the iZone sharpshooter charts right there. If you say, hey, I want to check this out, man, I don't really want to set up NinjaTrader right now, fine. If you trade Forex pairs, there's the charts right there for you. You can hop on with your internet connection, you can get charts right there. If you don't want to set them up yourself right away. Here's all the US indices. All right, on the iZone sharpshooter. Here's at the bottom, you can just, you know, move it around and scroll over. We've got gold, oil, everything right there in the live trade room. There's charts posted. There's a great community there um, helping you out, asking, you know, you can ask them for help. It's a great, great community, great place to be in. So try it out for 30 days for only seven bucks. I mean, literally, there's the step-by-step -step training course. But guys, you, you kind of learned it today. Red is red, green is green. If you want to spend an hour or two and go through the step-by-step -step course, and make sure you have it down, got the system rules, great. Open up, you know, it, it'll take you about 20 minutes to go through. Um, if you do want to set up NinjaTrader yourself, I show you how to do it right here. Um, getting started and set up, I walk you through it. It'll take you about 20 minutes. You can have your own charts, free NinjaTrader, free Forex data, futures data, pull up any charts you want. If you don't want to do that and you trade indices or some commodities or some Forex, you can just hop right in the elite room and just use those charts. Spend a cup, pay seven bucks, spend a couple hours, watch the system, set up Ninja, start trading it tonight or in the morning. I mean, it's right there for you, okay? So 
again, you've got uh, Raleigh put the uh, link there for you. Again, 30 days for seven bucks, 199 a month thereafter. If you decide you want to keep it, if you don't, after the 30 days, all you have to do is hop on the website, go right here to the help desk, submit a ticket, and just before that 30 days is up and before that charge, just I want to cancel my trial membership and not be charged. There you go. That's it. Okay. Uh, Tom, you asked a question, say, during London, question mark. Do you mean is there anybody in the room for the London a few? There's a few people that do trade the London sessions. Uh, we've got um, several Forex traders that trade in the middle of the night uh, for London session, and we've got uh, several people that really love trading the FDAX. You know, the German markets, they love that. So we do have some in there as well. Um, Harry says, no other fee for the software besides the $199 per month. Nope, that's it. That's it. $199 a month gives you the Apex Elite membership. That gives you access to every single thing that Apex offers. We do not have any other memberships. We do not have any other indicators to sell you. That is it. That gives you everything. Okay? Um, it's 30 days from today, basically. Or you know, Tim, the, the, the link there is going to stay active for a couple of days, okay? So if you want to take a day or two to watch, you know, the training course and set up Ninja before you sign up, that's fine. I'll probably leave that link active to, until Friday at noon, let's say, okay? And so once you take advantage of that, um, you have 30 days. So um, Kenneth says, what are the hours for the trading room? Um, Kenneth, the trade room is pretty much open 24 hours a day, okay? Between 5 and 6 p.m. Eastern time, um, we do kind of reset the room and shut it down and reset everything and reset the charts for the evening. So it might be down for, you know, 20 or 30 minutes, say, at the most, between 5 and 6 p.m. Otherwise, it's open all day, all morning, all night. It's, it's, it's always available. I mean... Uh, let me just pull it back up here. What am I looking for? The room. I mean, uh, you can see there was a few people in there earlier and then this morning. Oh, yeah, we reset it this morning, too. So, I mean, it's it's open all the time. And there's times where some of our Forex traders, if they know there's some good news coming out as well, uh, some of our guys, our main leaders like Greg, if there's some good Forex news that's coming out one night, He'll hop in there and, and post some new charts and do some live Forex trades, and he's watching all kind of it, – it's really cool at night when there's some good news going on. Um, you know, these guys hopping in there and doing some live trades even at night as well, okay? Uh, it's called the binary chat room. If any of you guys are Nadex binary traders, there's a whole other separate room for uh, binary traders, you know, to, uh, to communicate as well. So it's a great community, lots of stuff in there for you. Um, man, I think I've said it all. I, the system, I showed you charts. I showed you charts from the day. Watch the step-by-step -step course, but that's it. We're entering off buy zones, looking for all reds, all greens. It'll work on any instrument. Uh, try it out for 7 bucks for 30 days. You set up Ninja and get your own charts. You can hop right in there right now and just start using the charts that are in there. Whatever works for you. And again, if you have any questions at all, um, you can see if we're available on the live chat here. Otherwise, your best bet is to start off by going. Most of your questions will all be answered on the step-by-step -step training courses. Okay? And you can ask right here in the help desk. Okay? Now, real quick, like I said, if you, if you go through this, this quick, I just want to address something real quick here. And I'll shut it down, Raleigh. Right here, this getting started and set up with Apex and Ninja Trader. Literally, if you if you say, hey, I want to hop in and use those charts in the room, go for it. If you want your own charts, that way you can pull up any stocks or anything you want. It's just a couple little videos here. Three minutes, 11 minutes, 13 minutes, and you're set up. You get it all for free. Now, some of you may be like, yeah, but that's overwhelming. I mean, that chart and all those indicators and all. No, you don't have to build that chart and we show you in the course, you don't have to. Look, if you want to, if you have NinjaTrader and you want to open a chart, all you gotta do is say File New Chart 
and I want the Dow. Okay, we're using continuum bars. You got to select eight, and ten, five-minute bars, or whatever size of bars you want, right here. Load the following chart template. And you click iZone Sharpshooter Beginner Template. Hit OK, and everything is on the template for you already. You don't have to add iZones, and you don't have to add three or four different. Boom! There it is. Done. You got your chart. That's it. You want to pull up some random stock, you select that stock, hit that template, boom, it pops everything right up for you. It's really super simple. Okay? You want to switch over to something else, you just switch over to it. So you don't have to build any of these charts. The template's there. Select your instrument, bar size, template, boom, there's your chart. Trade it, go. So, all right, everybody, I sure appreciate your time tonight. I know we went a little bit long. I think I got most of your questions answered there. Craig, thank you very much as always. Um, hope we showed you a great system tonight that you uh, want to take advantage of. Hop on the Apex website, get your free membership for education. Hop on and use that link and um, 30 days to try it all out for seven bucks. Okay? And just anything we can do for you, feel free to let us know. We're here to help. So thank you very, very much for your time. And we thank Raleigh and Cam and Trading Pub and Yana and everybody at Trading Pub for having us tonight. Hope everyone enjoys the rest of their evening. Let us know what we can do for you. Traders helping traders. That's right, Craig. Exactly. We're here to help. Thank you. Appreciate it.